You guys remember how in my last video I said I was going to open the charity token boxes that you got from the event? Well, unfortunately I was too late. They all disappeared yesterday because I didn't open them in time. Unlucky. So I'm just going to start a video with an elite clue instead. Oh, and I did actually also fix an override. Look at this. I look very beautiful in my opinion. But the clue reward is 192k. Very bad. I'm going to reroll that and let's see what we get on the reroll. We get a master clue. What? Penguin staff. I'm not sure if I have that. I have absolutely no idea. I will update you guys on that in the next clip. But a master clue. That's actually a good way to start a video. I'm going to actually do that. So let's see what the first step is. Complete the action to solve the clue. When I encountered this individual, she had more rings than any I had seen before. Alright, well, I have no idea what that means. In fact, I did not have the penguin staff, so that is another cosmetic unlocked, which is pretty cool. But actually, for this clue, I need to cut an elder log, and that requires 90 wood cutting. And I'm only 81 currently, but I'm, I'm fairly close to 82. And I don't think grinding to 85 is that bad on Ivy. With like a crystal hatchet, with my lumberjack outfit, should not really be that much of a problem. Because then I can boost with stews. And that should be all good. So I'm going to actually go for 85 wood cutting. Need to level this skill anyways. So let's go. There we go. 85 wood cutting with a crystal hatchet. It was very easy to do. It didn't take much time at all. Maybe, eh, maybe like six hours or something. I'm not really sure. And most of it is obviously AFK because it has the ivy. So I'm going to go and get the brown spice. I think it is for wood cutting. And I'll cut down or I get one log from the elder tree. I think that's what we needed to do. I actually had to farm the stews for like maybe two hours to actually get the 90 boost to wood cutting, but there we go, I have completed it, and the new anagram is Rebirth Quaintly Rot. And that is actually, uh, what was it called? Brother Tranquility in Mostly Harmless, and that is a very easy one, so I'm going to go and talk to him. Alright, here we go, let's talk to him and see what happens. There we go, we get the clue. Let's see what this one is. Is it another anagram? Yes, it is. Tabu Rice Shirely. Uh, yeah, let's look up who that is. I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to have to, you know, after some master clues are done, I'm going to know more what these are, but for now I'm just having to look them up on the website. Ah, uh, that was easy enough. It was the Soothsayer Zibil, which is the, well, doorkeeper to Tedlos. Let's talk to her for a sec. And, okay, she just gives me it. Let's see what the next step is all right let's see oh this is something i've already done okay well then i don't have to do anything special let's uh, do that one i got the ghostly cloak the last video so nice we can do that so not quite yet the reward but let's open this one i think it should be like just a few more steps so i guess we're getting very close and let's see max guild garden beware of double agents have no items equipped uh, I got this one like a long time ago on my main when I was on it just to check out the master clues which ended up not being great for me on that account because they have like no quest points on it. But I got this one and I thought you had to be in the max guild or you had to have at least 99 and everything but after I deleted the clue I got to know that you don't actually have to do that so I should be able to do this one. So yeah you don't need 99 and everything to be able to complete this one and I'm going to open this one. Still no reward, should be maybe on this one. Let's see what this one is. I have no idea, but hopefully we get reward from this one. So it's not done yet, and I got a lockbox, which I have never done before. I'm not really sure what this is. Click on the combat styles to cycle through them. Match them all to unlock the lockbox. Oh, I see. Alright, that shouldn't actually be too hard. Uh, I, I guess I'll just play around with this for a bit. So the last master I did was 600,000 reward. Let's see if we can break that on our second one or get something completely worse. Let's see what we get. Well, that is for sure worse, but I can see that this is prayer renewal. Oh, prayer renewals. That's the first ones I've ever had on this account because they require an absurd level to make, I think. I'm not sure if I can make them now. I might be able to, but... Uh, yes, I can. 94. But they do take, uh, look at this, Fellstock, which I think there's like no PVM mobs that drop. So getting those, you have to do it through farming, as of my knowledge. And the mushrooms is you have to do it through farming or maybe some PVMing. So the Fellstocks are the main problem. And I think I'm not really interested in doing that right now anyways. So uh, I guess getting them randomly sometimes for Master Clues is slightly beneficial. So I just got a task of 9 Corporal Beast from death, but before I do that, I just want to explain one thing. Look at this, I have 755k cash. That's actually everything I have, look at this. One, one coin in the bank, just to have it there as a placeholder. 
But my barrel staff, if you guys remember, I do have this. It's 16%. And repairing that is like 2 million. It's more than 2 million. It's like 3 million, I think. And also my ascension is going to have to be repaired also later on. So that's going to be things that is going to take a lot of money for me. And I'm going to do Slayer. I'm going to do Reaper tasks and Slayer. So when I can do Reaper tasks, I'll do Reaper tasks. And then I'm going to do Slayer uh, in the meantime. And of course, I'm going to alloc what I get from the tasks. And also I'm going to be gaining some strength and attack levels, hopefully, because those levels are horrendous on my account. And hopefully I can get them to 99 fairly soon uh, but also I have like no slayer points look at this I will need them in the future I'm sure of it look at this zero slayer points so yes it's a win-win in every way I get money I can get maybe some clues to do some money and yeah everything should be good but I'm going to start off by doing the corporal beast task Amazing loot for the last kill of the Corporal Beast trip. Look at my gear, by the way. This is, like, absolutely terrible. Uh, I got 12 Reaper points, by the way, and 12,000 Slayer experience for that. But look at my gear. I have bundles. I have bundles and then, like, Death Touch bracelet and Amulet of Souls. I really have no good melee gear at all. But this is going to have to do when I do Corporal Beast. And also, I'm using Sun Spear. Yeah, it's pretty painful. But I got a lot of blue charms. And overall, I got three cannonball drops. But I had to do, like, three kills a trip because my gear is, as I said, horrendous. So, yeah, that's as many as I could do. And I got overall 6,000 cannonballs. Which I'm not really sure what I'm going to use those for because they alk for 3 GP. And I don't know, maybe you can sell them to vendors or something. You guys would have to let me know. But yeah, that's the first Reaper assignment. And I'm going to get a new one because I haven't gotten one today, I think. You can see here I have 6k cannonballs from that trip. But yeah, let's get a new one. Oh yeah, that's not the one. Assignments and I get 13 krill. Now, I don't actually need those at all. So I'm just going to see if I can get another one. Let's see. Yes, remove my current one. Vindict and Gorveg. Yeah, that's actually a good one. I have my barrel staff, or not barrel staff, noxious staff. But it is kind of low on durability, so I'm going to see how much it is. 16%, that's good enough to do those kills, so let's do it. And also, I didn't even remember, but look at this. I had my Cybernic Chaps augmented, and also I have my chest, which... Oh, that wasn't augmented, but my legs, the Anima Core ones, they are augmented, and they're level 11. So soon I will be able to siphon those as well when I do ranged again. So that's pretty nice, but let's get those Vindicta kills. Alright, this is the loot from the 9 Vindicta kills. I got 18 Reaper points. That's actually quite a lot. And 17k Slayers. So that's nice. Anyways, I'm going to start doing some Slayer now. And the first task I have is Elves. So let's get into that. And uh, let's get some money and maybe some Clue Scrolls as well on the way. I already have a hard and elite clue scroll in the bank, so I just thought ah, I'll just complete them before getting into Slayer so I can get new ones. And the first reward is the hard clue, which is two sword on page two. I don't, I'm not sure if I have those already, so I'm just going to keep the reward. Seems pretty good. Anyways, let's go for the elite one and see what this one gives us. Wow, two pages again. It's ancient page three. I'm not actually sure if I have those. I know I have some ancient pages, but yeah, maybe it's a new one, maybe it's not. So I did actually have both of them. Look at this. I have four Sour Domain page two now. And I have three Ancient page three. So I missed the... I have one, two, and three. So I missed the fourth one in Ancient. And for Sour Domain I have one, two, and four. So I missed the three one for the Sour Domain ones. I feel so weird coming back to RuneScape with all these new changes, man. I, I completely forgot that you get clue scrolls in a sealed version. So you don't even have to do them to be able to get new ones. But anyways, uh, I did get a new Elite. And I think I'm just going to, like, put this in the bank. I'm not going to do clue scrolls right now. And all the sealed ones that I do get, I can actually do in another video where I only do clue scrolls. So I'm just going to keep doing Slayer and hopefully get a lot of clue scrolls from it. And then I'll do all of them in another video. Sounds good? I think so. So I just completed a rune dragon task and my invention charge just ran out. So you can see it's uncharged now. And I have a feeling that I'm going to regret keep doing Slayer and not having charged gear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do divination. I think elder energy is pretty good or something like that. And then just get a lot of charge. And then I'm going to do something else that I have planned for the future. And that's going to be in the next video. But for now I'm going to end the video here. I got overall I think 8 hard clue scrolls. And let's see what the new task is going to be okay shadow creatures that's pretty good as well for elite clue scrolls so i can maybe stack up on some of those but uh yeah i have something plan planned for the next video that i want to do for that one but uh, i'm going to go and get some charge for my gear now and then after that i will do that thing and you will have to see what that is in the next video so thank you guys for watching this one and uh, also as a last thing 
If you want to join my friend chat, I haven't advertised it since I came back, but it is uh, Alone Sum, which is my main account, but it's the one I've used for my friend chat since the dawn of time. So if you want to join that, you can join Alone Sum. All right, thanks. And it's still spam. Okay, it's being spammed all the time, this message. I don't know how to cancel it, except I'm going to get some more charge. So anyways, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.